think it's safe to say that I'm a massive fan of the Fallout games. When I first played Fallout 3, it absolutely blew me away. But today, we're not looking at Fallout 3. We're currently playing Fallout New Vegas. I've just blown all your bloody minds. This is Tale of Two Wastelands, a massive mod that combines Fallout 3 into New Vegas's engine. And I'm gonna say right now, this is stellar. This is probably the best Fallout game there's not a Fallout game, it's a mod, either way. So what are the benefits of playing Fallout 3 inside of Fallout New Vegas? Well, you're not only getting performance boosts, stability, because you know, Fallout 3 was absolutely terrible with stability, especially on Windows 10. Oh, we got a frag grenade in here, let's take these. But probably the thing you'll notice first is the fact that you can aim down sights. That's something that was not in Fallout 3. So you're probably wondering, how the hell do you get this? Well, you need Fallout 3 Ultimate Edition and Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. Now, I would recommend buying these games on good old games. They come with a lot of fixes that makes them run a lot better. And then you need the mod itself. Now, I'm going to say right now, it's pretty bloody big. And I'm going to be leaving a tutorial in the description. Do not worry. Once everything's installed, though, you can then delete Fallout 3 because all the files have been copied over to the Fallout New Vegas folder. And it's absolutely incredible. It basically adds in all the really nice little things that Fallout New Vegas added. And it allows you to travel between the games realistically through a train station. It's absolutely incredible. But you know what? It's been a long time since I've explored Fallout 3, so that's what we're going to do. Let's head into Springfield Elementary. This is probably one of the earliest places people go in the game. Now, one of my favourite things about Fallout New Vegas was when you shot someone from a distance, there was a chance of activating like an action cam when they die, and that's available here. Uh, everything that you love from Fallout New Vegas is in this. So we're just going to take a couple of shots of this guy. <laughs> Down he goes. I love that action camera. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in Fallout 3. Okay, I'm going to back up here. I don't want to get taken out because I have got a couple of mods installed on top of Tale of Two Wastelands. Now, I'm going to say right now, if you're used to having maybe 150 mods installed on Fallout New Vegas, don't play this because it will crash. While this is compatible with a lot of mods, it's not a good idea. But what I do have is a damage mod. Oh, bloody hell, they just threw a grenade at my leg. Right, let's get a uh, fat shot here. 17%, let's see. Oh, that worked. Amazing, my character's a badass. Uh, do we have a doctor's bag? No, we do not. I'm pretty sure that was also added in Fallout New Vegas. A nice thing here is that we've got all of the perks and stuff from Fallout New Vegas included. Um, so you've got Black Widow, we've got Wild Wasteland, which is amazing. Now I'm pretty sure that the mod developers added stuff into Fallout 3 for the Wild Wasteland stuff. There's a lot of cool things in here. And if you know me, you know I absolutely adore the Fallout Who Vegas Doctor Who mod for this game. It's completely compatible. You can fly the TARDIS between Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I may make a video on that at some point if you want to see it. But what I need to do right now is um, heal up because, yeah, we took quite a lot of damage there. I have got a damage mod on that I think ups damage by 150%, so you don't have any bullet spongy enemies. The only problem is, of course, that you also aren't a bullet sponge and you can die in a couple of shots, which makes this game a lot more intense. I loved New Vegas. It had its issues with its engine, but I think that it ran a lot better than Fallout 3 did, and it's definitely noticeable while playing this. It's so much nicer. Fallout 3 had the games for Windows Live problem. I think the Steam version still has that issue. That isn't the case here, that's completely gone. But also, if you went ahead and bought this on Good Old Games anyway, as I said, it's highly recommended. That gets rid of all that, and it runs a lot better than it would have on Steam. I always, I always recommend the Good Old Games version of this game. Also, I've got a nice little, uh, reticule mod as well. I, I may leave some links in the description for some of these mods that I'm using. These work well with the mod and they make the game a little bit more immersive in some aspects. You can actually see the spread of the shotgun with this um, reticule mod, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna sneakily go through here. Now, the only problem is this place is always quite hard for early low levels. Now, we are playing this from a new game. I have got my own game where I've got to Rivet City at this point, but... <laughs> Oh, I may put that at the start of the video. That's incredible. Keep going through here. I don't know how no one heard that. God, it's so silent in here. 
All I can hear is the hum of the light. That's so nice. This game was fantastic for its um, level design. Fallout 3, I think, had the better atmosphere. Fallout New Vegas had the better world and characters. Got a headshot there. His head is crippled, but he's still full health somehow. Oh, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Maybe a little bit overpowered. We got a bleeder. Tear him apart. Oh, bloody hell. Right, dodge. Okay, got a guy there. Hell. Nice. Okay. We almost died then. I need to turn my flashlight on because god damn it's dark in here. Um. <laughs> god. How are we still alive? A nice thing is also there's a mod that basically adds all of the items from Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 3. So you have those combined items, um, which makes it feel a lot more um, cohesive because I don't think Tale of Two Wastelands does that naturally. Um, and it just it makes everything so much better. This is basically one massive game. And the fact that Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are some of my favourite games. They are highly, highly rated. They're probably some of the best RPGs ever made. To have the ability to play this is incredible. And to have both games in one is like playing the best game ever made. And I'll always say that Fallout New Vegas is my favourite game of all time. Um, so, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to get the sensitivity down on, um, the mouse, because in Fallout New Vegas, I got very good at getting headshots pretty damn easily with the mouse and keyboard. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I love headshots. They're so good. And I know there's a lot of people out there who prefer Fallout New Vegas over Fallout 3, and I'm definitely in that camp. I highly prefer Fallout New Vegas, but I still think Fallout 3 is an absolutely amazing game. When this game came out, it was the first time I'd ever played a game like this, so coming back to it now, running as smoothly as it does now, honestly, this is the smoothest it's ever run. Um, I highly, highly recommend this. <laughs> I can't, I can't say that enough. From the start of the video, you should have realised this is highly recommended. Now, another mod I'm going to leave in the description is the ability to alt-tab. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas don't like alt-tabbing. Um, they really hate it. And a majority of the time, the game will completely crash. So, yeah, that's a mod that I'm going to leave in the description. It definitely comes in handy. Oh, my God, it's so dark in here. What I do need to download is the... Uh, oh, God, the bloody... I need to sort out my bloody sensitivity. Jesus. Oh, you're running away? Don't run! Hang on, go for the leg. Yeah, well, that came off, so that's fine. Oh, hang on. What is that? Single shotgun. I will take that. Uh, let's go for a leg shot here. Let's cripple this guy. That did not work. And he didn't lose any health from that. One round. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Uh, get behind this guy. Go for the head. Oh, no. No, no AV. What's he doing? He's bloody hopping around. Oh my god. Alright, Super Mario. Bloody hell. You're bouncing around like a big old douche canoe. Oh, I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna take all your armor. The sensitivity right now. You see how fast this is? If I go for lower, does that help? I aim at the body. Oh god, look at that. Look look at this, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the sensitivity, okay? Right, I'm gonna aim at this body right from here. Aim. <laughs> aim. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Maybe lower? No, no, that's just really slow then. I mean, at least I can get it, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's a very hard lock. Isn't there a computer terminal or something we need to activate to get in there? If not, I will use magic. Yes. Magic, I say. Not in any way a cheat. Super stim pack, you see? That wasn't in Fallout 3. Uh, Rad X, rebound, stim pack expired, empty syringe. Nice. L look away, everyone. Look look away. Look, look, look away. Look. Oh, I just, I just wrote uncock. No, that's... Unlock. Lock. There you go. Perfect. Open door. Open sesame. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, I love it. Where the hell is this going? I don't remember. Oh. Wait, there's... There's ants in here? I don't remember there being ants. Oh, is it not a fire ant? I bloody hope it's not a fire ant. I bloody hate the fire ants. Come on. Down you come. There we go. 
I completely forgot there was ants in here. Oh, it's been so long. Uh, take everything. Yes, I can all sell all that in Megaton whenever I get there. Uh, you know what? I may explore what weapons I have a second because we've got a 32. Absolutely terrible. Uh, let's fix that up. We've got a Chinese pistol, probably one of the worst weapons in the entire game. Um, police pistol, that's a 357. Don't mind that. Actually, you know what? We may make that my main. Um, oh, hang on, no. No, we're going to keep... We're going to keep the 10 mil, just in case. And let's also repair up the single shotgun. So we've got six rounds for that. And we've got, ooh, a lot of rounds for the 357. I'm not going to complain about that. Right, come down here. <laughs> oh, God. I recently completed the Grey Ditch section in my own playthrough. And I didn't realize that you could actually help that kid find his family. Because there's a little kid who runs down to you. He's like, Grey Ditch is on fire! And you're like, oh, no, I don't care. Um, and he then's like, no! And then he runs away. But you can actually find his family in Rivet City. I never realized that. I've played Fallout 3 countless times. Now, I originally played this game on the old... Oh, oh this 357 is amazing. I originally played this on Xbox 360 when it came out. My dad got me the um, collector's edition with the lunchbox. Oh. Oh, it was beautiful. And I'm really pissed off with myself that I sold it. I sold the lunchbox and I, I, I can't forgive myself because that collector's edition is beautiful. I'm kind of worried about what's going to pop out here. My flashlight is on. You wouldn't know it, would you? <laughs> it's, it's awful. Let's be honest. And egg. Mmm. Delicious. Let's head down here then. Um, oh god, bloody hell, there's so much stuff down here. Why did you just get out of a shotgun? I didn't press a button, did I? What the hell? Right. Wait, I can hear movement. Oh! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can definitely hear movement. Okay, uh, you. Okay, that's that one down. You, uh, okay, uh, I can hear so much. Oh! Jesus! Okay, um, oh, I've just backed myself into a corner. Uh, okay, head. Um, <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I will, I, 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 I jump scared myself. Okay, uh, yes, no, 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 you, no, 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 oh my god, okay, well, you know what, that's fine, we can just do the rest in a second. Um, <laughs> god, I love vats, I was so blown away by vats, it's so beautiful, it really is, um, I, I love the animations and the little cutscenes, oh, so, so gorgeous, I know some people don't like using vats, and the majority of the time I won't, but if in situations like this, yeah, it's perfect. It really is nice, especially when you use the fat man. Oh, those cutscenes are amazing. Um, right, let's, uh, ooh, lockpick. That could come in useful, although I do have the, um, <laughs> amazingly legit cheat code. Um, let's do medicine. Medicine could come in useful. Let's also put some into science, just in case you run across any computers. That sounds quite good. Oh, there's a person here. What is that? Is that a, um... Can you move out of the way a second? I'm, I'm trying to... Try, thank you. Um, yeah. Ooh, oh, very nice. I can use that. But doesn't that give you, um... Uh, a perk, right? Or something? Yeah, sneak increased by one. Awesome. Uh, what do you have on you? Rebound turbo. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh... Yeah, nothing of use in here. I mean, we could get this amp meat. It, it's not really that useful right now unless there's a quest where you definitely need it. Um, I think that's everyone. So if someone asks, where's my family? I, I can be like, they're here. They're all dead. Good luck. Bye. Uh, I really, really have been loving this. And I think that it's well worth playing. Um... I, there's a part of me that wants to make this into a series, but I know how terrible I am with keeping up with Let's Plays. I'm awful. I'm so bad, and I don't want to disappoint anyone, because <laughs> that's going to happen if I if I do another series. I don't do series. Well, hello, welcome into episode one of Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. There you go, I can put that at the start, and then that seems legitimate. Fancy. Holy crap, it's dark right now. Okay, hang on. It's 8.30 in the... <laughs> Wait, what? 8.30? Are you sure? I... Jesus! Okay, I think one of my mods is making it darker. That That's fine. We'll just fast forward uh, 10 hours. There you go. Look how quickly that goes with an SSD. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous, right? Oh, we've got that golden glow of the morning light coming in. Oh, very fancy. Um, 
yeah, so that is Tale of Two Wastelands. Uh, I really love this. I know I've only showed the Fallout 3 part of this, but I think this is the most important part because it shows you all the little cool details it added with the, uh, you know, actual real iron sights, which is nice. There is a mod, but I always had issues with that mod. Um, this basically just combines everything into one package and it's all completely playable, including all the DLCs. I've never done Point Lookout. And I want to play that at some point, so we may make a video on that. Anyway, what did you guys think? Have you played this for yourself? If not, definitely go and check it out. It's free, as long as you own the Ultimate Edition of both games, which I highly recommend, obviously. Good Old Games has them on there. I think they're about £15 each when they're not on sale. When they're on sale, though, you can probably get them for a couple of quid. So definitely have a look to see what you can do there. I'm just going to shoot these bloody guys. That's it. Come on. Where are they? There. Oh. <laughs> this 357 is, is gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys. What's up?